What is going on Turbo Bros? Welcome back to another tips video and today we're going to be on Sub-Zero. Um, typically when I spawn from here, I go straight in between the Canada land flag and pre-aim. Look to my left, see if there's anybody there. And yes, we have somebody right there. He pop out like a groundhog. And then you look to in front of you, then you look to your left, there's nothing there. Boom! Ooh, I got hit, but that's all right though. There were two people did not expect that you, you know You can't always expect to go flawless in a match. You know what I mean, but you can try so uh, these tips that I'm about to give you are basically a mix of uh, like a class setup to use um, Perks how to adjust to the flow of the game how to take what the game is giving you you know what I mean because uh, like if you want to be a really good rusher and you want to learn how to dominate the game you have to learn how to adjust to what the game is giving you so i just killed like what three people right there i think so they think i'm still standing there so i outsmart them and i come outside and hop on this window but i don't go in and uh, i'm just gonna wait for these guys to pop up because i know they're still there there's one come inside i know there's other guys right there boom get the other one damn he's in the corner though sitting in the corner i like to call those people corner dwellers oh, uh, very scary uh but anyways um this portion of the building is probably my most favorite spot one because it's very small uh there's really only one area I have to worry about being flanked from and it's like pretty easy to maintain and if you're in this area try to close the garage door or have a teammate do it luckily I think a teammate did it for me so I don't have to do it and the reason why I like having the garage door closed which is right there what I'm pointing out right there is because if the garage door opens that means that enemies are breaching in and we have to be ready for impact so um <sighs> oh shit excuse me that was not very lady like I apologize See that stairs right there? Always pre-aim down the stairs. I don't care if you think nobody's there. You always have to pre-aim because you never know uh, if if an enemy's gonna pop up, if he's got dead silence. And that, that little area right there that I'm pointing at is where enemies really like to come into the building from. So you have to pay attention to that and also pay attention to down that little corridor right there that I'm looking at. And the reason why I'm coming here, I don't really like to hang out here normally. I really don't because um, underneath me right now, there's a little uh, staircase area that an enemy could gum could come like under. I said gum. What the fuck uh, could come under and flank you and go up into the building that way. But the only reason why I went there is because there's a sentry watching there and I have enemies over there. Now, this little balcony area is an area you want to be really careful careful if you're trying to uh, kill somebody you have to be sure that you're gonna get that kill and it is safe because I've died a lot just coming out there one time uh, from somebody sitting in a corner or somebody sniping you know what I mean it's very dangerous so only go out there if you know you're gonna get a kill for sure now um, uh, you know if you're on PlayStation and you're waiting for these maps to come out uh, I get asked this question a lot and uh, they ask me, you know, what what do I think of the DLC? Is it worth getting? Now, uh, my opinion is that if you're a hardcore gamer and you really like playing Call of Duty Ghosts and you're tired of playing on the same old big ass maps all the time, I say, yes, get this DLC. This DLC is not that bad. You know what I mean? It's not that bad. It's not the best one, but uh, this map right here is the one I really like the most. So if you want my opinion on uh, this map, I really love this map. It's very uh, traditional Call of Duty style, no bullshit, you know what I mean? So right here, I'm getting these hit markers. I, get, I think I'm about to get the assist. I'm challenging this guy because I feel confident I could get him, but I didn't. But if your gun skill is not that good and you're uh, kind of a beginner still, I would not recommend it at all. Especially if you're trying to go on a high streak. There's no reason why you should put yourself at risk if you're going to get killed, you know what I mean? So here I am again. I get a hit marker on that guy. Assist counts as kill because I'm using hardline. And by the way, the class I'm using is the Honey Badger Extended mag Mags with Grip. The Honey Boo Boo is the Bay. You already know. Um, I'm using support. Sometimes I'll run support if I'm playing solo because you can't trust these randoms, man. These randoms ain't loyal, you know. So um, I'm running SATCOM, Ammo Crate, Ballistic Vest. And uh, this is really good, especially if you're running solo because 
if you run out of ammo you could always use the ammo crate and you got the vest to protect you from bullets or explosives so uh, the game is pretty much coming to an end right now and I'm on a 14 kill streak. I'm getting really desperate here. This is when you should learn how to be aggressive. So I'm taking what the game is giving me and the game is telling me to be more aggressive because the game's about to end. Unfortunately, I do not drop the cam, but I do really good. Uh, my KD is looking pretty good. But yeah, this is pretty much a typical game for me on Sub-Zero. This is how I dominate on this map. This is how I would try to go for a cam if I really, really wanted to go for a cam. Stay in that building. So make sure you're always pre-aiming down the corners. Check every line of sight. By the way, if you missed it and you wanted to see me get a cam on this map, I will leave a link down in the description below. I hope it helped you all out. And I'll see you on my turbos in the next video.